Welcome back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. In this video, I'll be covering using the pen tool to create lines. There is so much that we could explore through the pen tool, and I have done and will do more units based solely on the pen tool and its capabilities. But for this video, I am going to stick with the basics. Before we begin, let's go over to our layers and create a new layer and name it content. If you don't already, go ahead and lock lines and lock headlines. So now when we're working, we won't move our headlines accidentally and we won't move our lines accidentally. And now onto our lines page. Line, of course, is a mark or a mass longer than it is wide. We'll use the pen tool to create our lines. The pen tool is here. Click on that pen tool and hover it onto your page. You'll notice that your cursor has turned into a little ink pen and that it has this little asterisk on the side. Every time you click with the pen tool, it will give you a new anchor. That's what all of these points are called. They are called anchors. If you hold down shift as you go, it will either make your line adjust to the horizontal 90 degree or vertical orientation. And if you let go of shift, you can move your mouse wherever you are. Again, this is me just clicking anywhere on the page. That gives you those straight lines. If you finish your line, you press escape and then it won't continue with that line. And then you'll be ready to start your next line. If you click and hold on the pen tool, you'll see that there are some other options for the pen tool. You can add anchor points. So if I click anywhere on this path, you have to be on a path to do it. That's what it said. Looks like I missed it. So if I click out here, that tool won't work. But if I click on the line, then I can add anchors anywhere I like. And you can also delete anchors with this pen tool. One thing to know is that you can also delete anchors with the regular pen tool. Notice how when I hover over an anchor, it changes from this asterisk to that minus sign. And that means that it will delete the anchor. Next, let's talk about curved lines. So to start your curved line, you can start with a click, but then instead of just clicking and releasing, click and drag with your mouse. And as you do this, you can see that these are extra lines that you drag in and out. These are called handles. And the further I drag this handle, the higher the curve gets. The less I drag, the smaller the curve is. You can play around with how this tool works, but do note that if you were to click and drag and let those handles cross, then you will end up with something that looks a little strange. The anchor point tool will allow you to change the curve of any point in your line. So if I click on this and drag, then I can change where my curve goes. And I can do this with any point anywhere on any line. If I were just to click on one, then it would get rid of that curve completely. And those are all the parts of the pen tool. So you can play around with the pen tool, play around with using both the clicking and the dragging to make curves and straight points. Once you finish, of course, press escape. You can use the pen tool and you can go back and play with other lines as you go along to change the way that they look. As I work, I'm going to speed up the video so that you don't have to watch me do all the work. But you can pause the video at any time to see what I'm doing.
you run out of room, you can always select all of the lines together by clicking and dragging across them. And click and drag on the edge and hold shift not to distort them and let go of your mouse. It may also be helpful to turn your guides back on. So right click on the gray area with nothing selected and select show guides. This way you can know where your margins are and you can make sure that none of your lines go outside of the margins. Once finished, you're gonna give each line a creative name. So look at the line you've got here and decide what you think that line looks like it should be called. Try to come up with something creative, not just zigzag, but something fun and different. One thing to note before you begin this is that you have to be careful not to click on the line because that will make your text replace your line. So Command Z to undo if that ever happens. And just make sure that you have your text tool with the box around it so that when you name your line, you won't replace your line. If you need to move your text, just select the move tool and move it wherever you need to. Just be sure that as you're moving your text around, it looks like each title goes with each of the lines that you have drawn out. So to recap this one, you should have drawn a total of 20 lines and you should have named each one with a creative and descriptive name. If you like this video and you'd like more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more and I'll catch you in the next video.